Alright guys, welcome back. So if you watched the video, the last video, where I opened up the Ghost from the Past, the second haunting, um, I mentioned a particular card that's going to come out in the next set that's an indirect support for Synchron. I mean, it make, it's going to let us revisit the Pendulum variant, because the, at, at the current moment, we don't really use this little guy, because we don't really have a use for it in, in the current um, build, because it's very Pendulum oriented, right? Like, it's... um. If you if you if you if you've been following the channel, if you're new to the channel, there's a video, uh, there's a variant of a synchron build where I, I utilize a pendulum mechanic, where you use um uh you let me just show you you use uh, these little guys, right? So because like for those of you that don't know what this guy does, it's basically um, in the scale, uh, once per turn you can target one performer power or audits monster you control. This turn, that face-up monster is treated as a tuner. Also, its level becomes one. So that's pretty cool. It's level modulations, which, which is nice. But the main monster one is the one we're going to be looking at the most. Because um, if this card is special summoned from the extra deck, it um, is used as a synchro material, banish it. We don't really mind that one. Um, when this card is normal summoned, you can target one level three or lower, perform fell or audit monster in your graveyard. Special summon it, but it has its effects negated. So it's like Junk Synchron. It can revive from the graveyard, except it's very, um, like, archetype based, which is not bad. Um, you can target one card in your Pendulum Zone, Special Summon it, but its effects are negated, if any. And if you do, immediately after this effect resolves, Synchro Summon one Synchro Monster using only that monster and this card. So if you, if you can kind of connect, connect the dots, right? Um, this is not a performer power or odd So the main application for these two together is the fact that you have a double summon and this can um, summon this from a scale. So you place this in a scale, right? And then you normal summon this, activate effect, um, attempting to um, um, special summon it from the scale zone, or from, the, from the scale <laughs> and to the main monster zone, and you make speeder because it's a synchron. That's pretty cool. But the new card and the reason why I'm bringing this up now is because this is what I meant indirect support for this and it's this girl performer pal lady Ange, lady Ange, Angie. i don't know <laughs> so okay look, 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 let me just okay so the pendulum effect um the scale is not really relevant it's mainly the monster effect but let's just go through it so the, the pendulum effect once per turn when an attack is declared involving your monster and an opponent's monster you can discard one pendulum monster that uh, <laughs> that opponent's monster loses the thousand attack until the end. I mean, that could come up. Of course, it can come up, but that's not the reason why. The only thing we're we're looking at is the it, is its level and its um uh, its name. Okay, so look at the monster effect. So you can discard this card and a performer pal um monster, except perform pal in the end. Draw two cards. So already you can kind of connect the dots. And you discard him. So, like, you play triple tuning, triple this. So, you can have, and you play converter. So, you can have infinite ways to get to this guy, which is nice. Like, it just, it's just super cool. And then, if this card is in your graveyard and you control an Audize, which is Audize Synchron card or Perform Pug, um, what the hell is this? I don't know what that is. <laughs> uh, you can, you can place this card in your pendulum zone. What is this card anyway? What is this card? Oh, I didn't even know this card existed. What the, <laughs> what the heck? That's pretty cool. If a if, if a performer for Lady Ange is in your other pendulum zone and you control no monsters or only pendulum monsters, you can add one Audite's card from your deck to your hand. So this is just Audite Synchron. That's pretty cool. You can only use this effect of Performa Pal uh, just once per turn. Okay, what's the monster effect? If this card is destroyed... You can place one performer pal pendulum monster from your deck in your pendulum zone, except performer pal. If this card is is, uh, is face up in your extra monster zone, you can discard one pendulum monster, add it, discard to your hand. Then you can return one performer pal or others cards from your pendulum zone to the hand. You can, oh, that's pretty cool. So that means like you can like there's like situations where you can like crash and like, cause that's that that comes up sometimes too where. Like you need, like like Hita was a perfect example. Like sometimes you would like make a Hita for Salad and then just crash it, and it, it, it was niche, but it was a cool interaction that you could do. You know, like that was like the cool thing about it. So this is in, in, in the same regard. Let me just double check. That's really cool. 
Oh wow. That means you can complete scales. But like the main one is um this one. This is the one I was I was mainly trying to to, to feature. Um summon, revive, right? If they stop it somehow, okay, fair enough. Um since you control an odd eyes, you can scale it and try to do the second effect where you um you know like that's just cool. And then of course like there are the other engines that you can play, right? You play mics. Uh this is pretty cool because um it's um this guy can reborn this and then you can play like a bunch of like teleport S cards, you know? Like teleport like you just reborn this and that's five, which is pretty cool. You, know, you can revive it three times. And then of course this is basically a pop up, which is what the lady engine is gonna be. Uh, you know, it's gonna be similar. And of course you have the dark worm stuff, right? The dark worm stuff it lets you just have a, 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 a one card pitch or something. Because if you think about it, this is dark, Doppel is dark, Junk is dark. So you don't have to utilize your normal summon, which is really nice. So like, in theory, like you can pendulum summon and then like have like copies of this. And then like, let's say you would have used Lady Ange and then you have normal summon, you can summon this, uh, bring back the Ange, right? And then, you know what I mean? Like, like little things like that, it's pretty cool. And then this is like, this search is, um, this, which is pretty cool, and then, and then Alex, um, um, Gen X, um, I like Birdman, like it's pretty cool. You could bounce, I don't know, just little things like that. Like, that's something I just want to show you guys that, that card because I was like, that's pretty cool. Like, it, it makes this guy better, like, it makes this guy way better because, like, you can max this out now, you have complete scales, which is really nice, and um, yeah, and I think that's a one, right? Lady Engine is the one, yeah, that's a one. So like if you have Lady Ange and, and like the guitar or um or the odd eyes, that's complete scales. And that's something that single kind of struggle with, like the, the normal summon. Like we're kinda of bound by the normal summon. Unless we have like uh start a synchron in graveyard or we have um Dawn Walker, then and, and we're just uh, like cause like all those otherwise our our other options or alternative is overtake summon doppel, overtake summon converter. You know, or you know, says, but this like kind of bypasses, which, which is what I liked about the pendulum mechanic. It let, it let us be, uh, bypass that particular uh, weakness or issue. Um, for um, yeah, but it's cool. I, I just want to show you guys that because that, that, I, I thought that was really cool. And um, I'll be I'll be messing around with it. But now that it's out there, like I'm pretty sure, like uh, if you were if you were aware of this, then I'm, I must be late. But like this was cool. Like I just I just found it out like a few nights ago, and. I'm I'm just excited about it because I was like that's pretty cool like they're gonna ash this like okay it, it just gives your opponent to to, to other like like to to it it basically like makes your opponent anticipate um at the wrong times because it's so it's so tempting to just ash a draw two like ash or sign mining like you're gonna go okay discard discard um you have three cards left in hand they're gonna want to ash you and since you play like triple tuning triple this and then that means you're only bound by you're 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 only um you're only weakened by like imperm or Valor, you know that type of stuff. But then that's why you play like other cards like this to have like additional summon, or you just have like overtake or you know you know what I mean. Imagine this guy gets an overtake uh, an overtake synchro. That would be really cool. How cool would that be? An overtake synchro for this guy. That would be freaking amazing. That means you can special this with overtake. Uh. Have a oh my that's so cool. That'd be cool. Oh my god, I'm getting excited. That's okay. Hopefully, enjoy the video. I subscribe if you haven't, and thanks for watching.